one of the biggest drawbacks when you're using cursor is hitting the limit and now once you've hit the limit and you have tried creating several accounts using the same pc you'll find that cursor discovers that you're using very many accounts on your pc and they tell you that you have to either pay up or maybe look for another pc but you don't have to do that so what you need to do is to actually watch the entire video if you're here for the first time please consider subscribing and let's dive straight into what brought you to this video now what you need to do first is to close if at all cursor on your pc is open make sure that you close it what you need to do is to go to your favorite browser uh, maximize it so what i need to do here is to you, you check the link in the description but if you can see my screen you can also just decide decide to type so what you need to do is to search for kazinikazi kazinikazi.co or just look for kazinikazi like that once you do that you just click on kazinikazi yeah, home uh, but i would rather use the link you'll use the link in the description i'll make sure to attach the link in the description box below so just click on it and it should be able to bring you to where uh, i've done this article on how to use casa ai completely for free and this is the windows version so you click on that once you click on this uh you will scroll all the way down you can read the article and entirely the article is about uh, the steps and what you need to do when you are uh, following the steps of using casa for free so uh, the steps as of detail you need to uninstall uh, your casa right you ensure that you have removed all the necessary files that have been installed that uh, all the files that come come with casa ensure that you remove all of them and i've already listed them here all you need to do is to copy and paste in your search bar and then uh, you'll be able to remove them so what you need to do first according to the steps is you ensure that you've signed out of casa so for my case i'd already signed out of casa what i need to do is to just search casa so if you have installed it the first step is to uninstall all right so you click on this and then you right click i click on uninstall so ensure don't forget this ensure that when casa is still installed do not go deleting all the files according to the steps ensure that you uninstall casa first remove it from your pc all right so what you need to do here is to come here and then you look for casa where it says user then click on uninstall and this method works for both windows uh, 11 and windows 10 all right remove it once uh, you have successfully uninstalled casa from your machine once you've successfully uninstalled casa from your machine you get this notification which says casa was successfully removed from your computer very good so i can just close this um uh settings so the first thing i need to do now is to go to casa.com right because i i think i had signed in i just created another account so once you create casa uh, you, you go to casa.com you ensure that you download the latest version of casa uh let me just click back on the to go back on the home page you ensure that you download the latest version all right so you just click on download and then the latest version of casa which is 1.7 will be downloaded to your pc and now once the download has been done as you can see it's still downloading slowly by slowly but i already have this version of casa on my pc so let me just pause this all right uh, because i already have casa on my pc all i need to do is to find it so i come to my uh, downloads and then i just look for casa i have very many versions of casa by the way so i just look for it it's right here I have one uh, the version for 1.6 so i just click uh, on casa but i'm not going to install it right now uh, i've just located it now here's where the thing starts once you've successfully uninstalled your your application what you need to do is now to go to the first step and the first step is you've installed uh, you have uninstalled casa the second step is to delete these folders these folders are the ones that come with casa so what you need to do is to copy this and then come to your search bar then just enter you'll see the folder has been located uh, you open file location and then all you need to do is to delete it and then you come back again you look for this folder if at all you did update casa uh, straight from that notification that pops up telling you to update casa uh, and then you search for it i didn't do that and then you do the last check uh, copy this and then you paste it you can see the folder is here just open the file location and then all you need to do is to click on delete now once you've done that 
you have now successfully cleared Casa from your PC completely with all its uh, resources and files. Now, what you need to do now is uh, install a fresh version of Casa. As you downloaded the new version of Casa, yeah, which is version 1.7, as per when I'm making this video, uh, what you need to do is now to go ahead and install Casa. So for, for my case, let me just locate it in my downloads. Uh, let me go to my download section, sorry. Then I click on this, double click. Once I double click, I just click on setup, and then it starts installing Casa. Uh, click on accept, click on next, next, and then create an icon. After that, I just click on next and click on install. So it takes very few seconds uh, to do the installation. And please make sure that you follow all the steps uh, according to how they are, they have been listed. Because you, if you miss any step, you'll still get the same notification from Casa telling you you've used the same machine several times. So ensure you watch the entire video and follow the whole instructions as uh, from the attached site that I've just listed. So as you can see, it's, it is uh, actually extracting and installing all the files required. So what you need to wait for here is to wait for Casa to actually do the full installation. And once it does the full installation, it has to open and run. So you wait for it to tell you login or register. All right, uh, let me just wait for that to be done. It's taking quite some time. So as it's doing the installation, please, if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, I'll be making very many videos and uh, soon we're planning to start live sessions where I'll be inviting some of you to hop onto our live session so that we can maybe vibe code a certain application and there'll, there'll be very many things that we'll be building. So uh, feel free to subscribe and just hit like so that the algorithm can discover uh, this video and make it get recommended to very many people. So as you can see now, Casa has been installed. Uh, what we're waiting for is to have it running now. So as you can see, we're seeing the welcome to Casa, the AI code editor. What you need to do when you see this is to just click on close. And now once you've clicked on close, it means all the necessary files for Casa have already been populated in the rightful places on your PC. Uh, but we're not going to sign in yet. Now, the next step according to my method is to navigate to where it's the, the, the app data file uh, to the global storage and edit the storage JSON file. So what you need to do is to just, you'll just click this, copy, and then you'll paste on your search bar. Once you paste, you open the file location and you'll see these three files here. These three files are the ones that we're going to edit and all of them are, have already been listed on the site. So what you need to do is to right click on this storage file and then you will uh, open with the notepad I believe your Windows already has Notepad. If you don't have, then you'll. Uh, it's good that you download it. So this information is the one that is uh, within the storage uh, JSON file. So what you need to do is just to select all of it and then delete, and then go back to the website and scroll to step seven, where it's, it gives you actually the details where which you are going to replace with what you just deleted. You just uh, copy and then come back to the storage JSON. Uh, sorry to the notepad and paste this in the storage JSON file and then you just click on save. So when you click on save, you can just confirm that it was 2KB and now it's going back to one kilobyte. So the next step is to just also edit the state uh, VS CDB uh, file. Just right click on it and then you uh, click on edit or open with the notepad and then Select this, all of it, and then uh, you just be ready to paste the, the contents that will be uh, coming down below. But before you do that, ensure that you now um, change your machine uh, version. All right, you have to run a certain command in your Windows PowerShell, and you have to run it as the administrator. What you need to do is to select all of this. You have to force your PC to sh to tell Casa that this is not the PC that was being used by the other Casa. So this is like a new machine. And that's the essence of this video. So what you need to do is to just come here and then you look for PowerShell, Windows, PowerShell, this one right here. You run as administrator, all right? Click on it and then it will open the PowerShell and then you just paste that command here and then click on enter and that will be done. You can even close the PowerShell. 
Once we've done that, now the PC is appearing like a new PC. And every time you run uh, this command, it will be showing as if you are on a new PC. But it doesn't mean you have to skip all the other steps. It's very important that you follow all the steps because when you only run this command, you might find yourself that you are still getting some errors uh, when running CASA. So as I said, the three folders as, as, as have been listed in this section are supposed to be edited. And you can see um, this folder here, the VSC DB file is at 180 kilobytes, uh, but I already opened it in Notepad. So that's the next thing that we have to, we have to work on. So what you need to do is to copy this script. Uh, as you know, this script has been prepared by KNK Digital. So KNK Digital is one is, is uh, the company that I have, uh, but it's still a small company. I hope it grows big. <laughs> yeah. So what I need to do is just to right click on this. You select all and copy. And once you've copied, you just come here and uh, paste the contents. And then once you paste the content, you just save it. And then you go back to the backup file. As you can see, it's changed from 180 to 2 kilobytes. You do the same because that's the backup. Uh, just uh, open again in Notepad. Select all, delete, and then paste it again. And then once you've done that, you just have to save. Now, once you've saved, you can see uh, everything's looking good so far. And then what you need to do now, you can even close uh, whatever you had opened. Now, this is the, the, the last step. Uh, if you're using the first method the second method is for using the db browser i don't know if you've ever used it but it's also um, a process but so far if you've used the first method that we just recommended this is the last point where you'll you'll have covered everything after running the script all right you don't have to go to the alternative option there's no need all right so what you need to do now is to go to casa so you can go to casa identify where uh the shortcut has been saved on your screen you just double click on it and it should be able to open casa on uh, your pc so as you can see here casa is now open but now you need to log in or you need to sign up what i usually do is uh, create an account prior to when i want to run casa so what i need to do is click on login because i already have an account this is a uh, edge uh, microsoft edge but i don't want to I, I don't usually run or create an account in microsoft edge so I, all i need to do is to copy this link and then close uh, microsoft edge and then i come to my chrome browser where i've created my account and then i'll just come here and paste the, the the long link just paste and enter so once i've pasted it tells me log into casa desktop but all i need to do is just say yes login so when i come back to casa I see it's now telling me welcome to CASA because I've already logged in. I uh, import from VS Code. I don't want to import from VS Code. All I click, uh, all I need is to click on continue, click on continue, click on continue. Uh, I'm fine with CASA. Okay. And everything, just continue on everything. Now, as you can see, I'm already in CASA and things are looking good. Uh, things are looking good. So what I need to do here is to just try and open a, a certain file or a certain uh, folder that I've been has, has some of the uh, project files that I've been working on to test if at all everything is looking good, all right? And uh, uh, you just have to click on open folder. If you need to clone a repository, then you can proceed to clone. Uh, but I was already working on something, so let me just double click on this, then select this folder and uh, bring it to CASA. So I hope that everything is working good. All you need to do is to click on uh, I don't like using auto. I have to select agent mode. And then for the models, let me just go with the, all right. So what I need to do is to tell CASA to go through the whole project. Uh, let me tell it to go go through the entire code base and understand what we have here. But this is usually a, a, a best practice, especially once you've just done a fresh installation to ensure that LLM that you've decided to go with, say if you're using GPT-5 or you're using cloud, uh, if you're using cloud 4.5s uh, and then you need to ensure that it goes through the code base and understands everything before it starts iterating on anything that you've been working on so what i need to do is click on enter and this should be able to show me uh, or rather the gpt5 should be able to go through the entire code base understand it and be able to tell me uh, what we have before we start going on and what next and what next all right 
So as you can see, it's already going through the code base uh, from my screen. And that should be a good sign that everything is already working. So once you deplete uh, or rather you hit the limit, all you need to do is to go through the whole step again. The instructions are very, very straightforward and are very easy to follow. So uh, just redo that again and again and again, and you'll be able to use Casa as many times as you want. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel. It's just a reminder, and I'll be doing very many tutorials with you. I'll also be doing several live sessions, and I'm very ready to invite some of you uh, to hop on to the calls that we'll be doing over time to just vibe code our ideas. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video. And remember to stay safe and click thumbs up for this video.